Hello guys and welcome to your 35th Java tutorial on enumerations. Now as you can see here I have cleared the code from the previous tutorial and we're starting with a blank slate. So to actually demonstrate what enumerations are I'm just gonna go over to the source folder, right click it, go to new and then enum, not new class however a new enum or uh, which is short for enumeration if you guys uh, didn't guess that. Alright, anyways, uh, so what enumeration are we going to have? Well, we are going to have a fruit enumeration, and uh, I'll explain everything in just a second. Uh, it will make sense, I promise that. Alright, so notice, once again, we have a public enum fruit here, uh, not our public class. Uh, the class modifier does not work, the class uh, declaration does not work. Uh, here we have to have an enum here instead of a class because this is in fact an enumeration. All right, enough of that, and let's go ahead and get started. So, what is an enumeration? Well, an enumeration is a data type, meaning that we can have multiple enumerations, and uh, well, as a classes, you know, we can have multiple instances of classes. But the weird thing about the enumeration thing, in the enumeration. Uh, currently fruit is that all of the instances we can have of our fruit class will be defined inside of the enumeration itself or the enum for short uh, so for example we could have uh, an apple defined in here and the, by the way the, the the instances are defined by commas or the constants they're actually constant because they never change uh, and any constant that we define originally uh, we can add on to that we have uh, we can have banana we can have pear uh, papaya I don't know, and uh, and they're added with a semicolon. Uh, they're ended with a semicolon. So as you can see, we have uh, four instances of our fruit enum, and we, I'm just gonna call them uh, instances, but they're really constants that belong to the fruit enumeration. But you see, these are actually instances of the fruit enumeration, meaning that all right, I'm repeating myself a bit much. Meaning that any any uh, any property of the fruit uh, enum belongs to each one of these instances. So say if we had a public string color uh, pu color of the fruit enumeration, this would belong to each one of these uh, instances. And uh, so let's go ahead and define a constructor for this fruit uh, simply by putting fruit with the parentheses, and uh, there we go. And notice, uh, it's not we cannot have a public constructor as we have had with our classes previously. We can only have either a private constructor or uh, no no modifier for that at all, and that's what I'm just gonna leave it uh, leave it right for, for right now. All right. So what uh, what should we put in our fruit constructor? Well, I believe that we should pass in a string color or string C for our fruit, and all we want to do with that is set it equal to our uh, member variable color. There we go. So that's really all we do. And notice that we're getting all of these different errors because we've already initialized our instances of the fruit enum, enum. But as you can see here, we've just changed our constructor to take a string. And yes, once again, returning back to what I said earlier, uh, these have to be initialized properly because uh, everything from the fruit enum belongs to them and uh, pertains to them. So they have to be initialized with this fruit constructor. And let's go ahead and do that. Apple. Uh, Apple, the color should be green. Banana, the color should be yellow. Yellow. And the pear, the color should be uh, magenta. No, I'm, I'm kidding. It's not magenta. No, brown or yellow, depending on what pears you eat. Ugh. This is a choice of personal preference. Right? Papaya is orange, I believe. All right, there we go. Now that we've uh, correctly constructed each one of these constants or instances of the enum, I'm, I'm calling them instances once again. I'm, I'm just going to repeat myself quickly just because I think it makes it seem uh, easier to understand because that, that's what we had for classes. We had instances of classes, but these are really constants. So, all right, just want to clear that up. All right, let's go. Now that we've actually fully defined uh, our enumeration of fruit and all of these uh, different types of fruits and their colors, let's go ahead into the, onto the main class and learn how to create an enumeration. Uh, so how we would create a fruit enumeration is simply by putting the fruit keyword. Uh, then we would have, uh, say, an apple and we set it equal to fruit.apple, for example. It's just an example. And notice that this instance, so normally with classes, we would set it equal to, you know, like new fruit, 
but that does not work for enumerations because we cannot instantiate a new instance uh, of, of this enum. We have to use one of the constants that are already given. So we can just set it equal to fruit.apple, for, for example, right now. All right, so now that we've actually done that, uh, what else can we do with this fruit.apple? Well, let's go uh, ahead and see. So we can actually print out some very interesting properties of this uh, apple object now. We can print out uh, I am and uh, put a plus sign and then put apple then plus and let's print out the color and have the color plus apple dot color. And notice that we can access this color variable uh, once again because uh, it belongs to the fruit enumeration which belongs to all the uh, constants or instances. All right, and notice that here I didn't have apple included as a string. I just had it plainly as an object. That is because I am currently referring to the apple object, the enum object. And why I'm doing this is because actually every enum object, if referred to that in such a way, it'll simply return the name of its if of itself of the instance, and that would be of the constant actually of the. Uh, so it'll just return apple in this case in a string form. So we're requesting a string and we're getting a string uh, of the name of this uh, constant thing. All right. Anyways, uh, here we have a very nice message from our apple. I am an apple and have the color green. <laughs> all right. That was awesome. Thank you, Apple. And all right. So I think I've just displayed one of the basic properties of an enumeration. Uh, so let's just go ahead and erase that. And you're probably saying, all right, that's that's nice and all, but how can this actually be useful? Well, as you might have seen already, uh, enumeration is another way of grouping common uh, items. So we can have an enumeration for you know your math class and each of the constants is a person in your math class or you could have an enumeration for you know a suite which is uh, which is you know one of one of the four things in a, in a deck of cards and then we could have all the cards that belong to that suite uh, so yeah there's a lot of ways to group it and now let's actually take a look at what we can do if we wanted to say display information about every single uh, one of the elements in our enumeration in this case our fruit enumeration uh, so how would we actually do that? Well, we could once again use our enhanced special for loops here, and uh, each time it's going to be a fruit f, and uh, it's going to loop through the array of all the fruits. All right. So there is a more or less simple way to do this, and I am just going to show it right now. So all the array of every of every single constant and our fruit enumeration, we could actually do this. We could create you know a fruit array fruits and set it equal to you know an array of fruits dot apple fruits dot you know something 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 and create that entire array and loop through that array or we could just uh, use this convenience method fruit dot values and that values uh, right here the values method will return a simple array that contains all of the constants from the fruit class and I'm sorry there's like this this guy mowing his lawn outside uh, might you might hear that uh, but uh, yeah, so what we actually want to do here is loop through the entire fruit values array, and every time this f value becomes the next uh, constant in the array. And what do we want to do with each of these single constants? Well, we want to print out fruit. We want to print out I am a plus f, which by now you guys should know returns the name of the actual constant. So it'll be either apple, banana, pear, etc. Uh, and my color is magenta now. Alright, and f th the color is f.color, which will simply return the uh, color string of each of the respective uh, uh, fruits. Alright, so if we launch this program, we should get a very nice uh, set of messages here. I am an apple. I am an apple and my color is green. I am a banana and my color is yellow. I am a pear and my color is brown. And I am a papaya and my color is orange. So uh, there you go, guys. I hope you saw some uh, useful, useful, uh, useful stuff in this tutorial. Uh, for example, how to uh, create this little for loop that loops through uh, every one of the instances slash constants in the fruit enum. How to print out their properties, uh, and how to, in general, just create, uh, you know, your enum. Uh, so thank you guys very much for watching this tutorial, and peace.